guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today my family and I are going to be decorating for Christmas and I'm super excited. So the first thing we're going to do is go pick out our tree in our backyard. Um, we just have a bunch of random pine trees that we don't care about and we'd be getting rid of them anyway. So instead of like killing a nice Christmas tree, we just get rid of random white pines. So it's not going to be pretty. But um, we never actually are home on Christmas. We're usually at my grandparents' house, and they have a nice tree, so it doesn't really matter. But we just like to use up our own resources instead of going out and, you know, whatever. So we are going to get a tree from our backyard and then get all the, like, ornaments and decorations out and then just work on decorating. So it should be a fun time. I'm really excited for this holiday season. I've been working a lot on coming up with gifts for people and... I don't know, just trying to get in the holiday spirit. We've been watching a lot of Christmas movies, so I'm super excited. So let's go out and pick a tree. I want to show you the outfit of the day. So I'm wearing this top that I cropped and made a skirt out of. Um, I got it at the Salvation Army, I think, and I have a whole video about me cropping this and putting the elastic in and then making the skirt. It was super fun. I think it's a men's like extra, extra large, so it's really big and comfy. Um, and then I have these jeans that I thrifted. They have a zipper down the side. And I did a little bit of an upcycle with them. I cut off, there was a bunch of fringe on the bottom of the pant leg, and I cut that off. Also, you can see my Christmas socks. Very beautiful. So yeah, let's go pick a tree. single-handedly cut us down a tree. It is slightly lopsided, but I think it'll work. Um, I just like cutting down our own trees because they're always a lot fresher and they don't drop needles as much and it's just better for the environment, I think. So yeah, we have our weird Franken tree. That's what we call it every year. Um, and I've got a few bins out of our stuff, but I think there's one or two more bins that need to come up that I'll need help carrying out of the basement because they're really heavy. Um, also, I decided I'm going to especially decorate my room this year. I never usually do that, but I think it'd be really fun, especially because we're going to be home a lot more this year and just have more time to appreciate it. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to take a little bit of a rest and then tackle actually decorating. So here's what the room looks like before. It's kind of overrun by blankets, yarn, and puzzles. So I'm going to put some of the puzzles away, fold up the blankets, and just try to tidy up before I start decorating. So here's what it looks like now. I brought some stuff up to decorate my bedroom also, so of course I have my Christmas onesie because that is a very important part of the Christmas season. Then I also have this little tree that I got at Walmart. Um, 
after last Christmas, so it was really, really cheap. And then I have this little hat that I think I'm going to put on top of it as decoration. Um, I also have the Harry Potter advent calendar that my brother got me for my birthday. So I will be putting that out so I can build each of the sets every day. And then lastly, I have this cute polar bear snow globe that my grandmother got me last year. I love it. It's so cute. I also have these little scented pillows that smell like pine trees. And they just smell like Christmas. It's so nice. So I'm going to keep these in my room anytime I need a little Christmas scent. enjoyed watching me decorate for Christmas in both like the rest of my house and in my bedroom. I really think this little tree is so adorable and I think it's perfect for my room. And then the advent calendar is right next to it. I'm super excited to start that. And then there's my onesie hanging on my closet door and the little um, scented pillows that are on my chair. And then the little snow globe up on top of my armoire. So um, make sure to check out my social media at Rosie Revolts. Um, and check out my Etsy shop, also at Rosie Revolts, and make sure to look at my book at getoutdoorsbook.com, and I will see you guys later. Bye!